Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Rad Kutarot and uh, in this whole video uh, you are going to see the um, weekly tarot readings August 3rd to August 9th 2020 in terms of career and in terms of relationship uh, and uh, with that being said, a few notes about the show before uh, you see the reading itself you can skip forward if you want to but um, you also, if you do like the way I read, you can participate for uh, my tarot classes uh, in there I'm going to explain you uh, how to read tarot cards in generally uh, with the spread that I'm using in this very video and uh, the first, the beginner's tarot class is now available uh, recorded which means that you can take it on your own pace and in there you're going to find 12 hours of content, explanation I I'd like to think a profound explanation of the major arcana and how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship or in terms of a looking for career or looking for a relationship and as well how they stand in the spread itself and at the end as well you're going to have a few examples how to read just only with the major arcana that being said the you're going to be pretty set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings uh, when you finish the course and uh, yeah if you do want as well personal reading uh, you can go to my website uh, which is listed here into the description uh, of this video and uh, there pretty much on the very front page you're gonna find a full list of my services and as well their pricing the course can be purchased from uh, the same website going into the tarot classes section so that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show right so uh, let's have a look what Sagittarius are to experience throughout the upcoming week and the first thing we're going to have a look at, uh, this is going to be your a, a relationship and love for the week, guys. So let me shuffle and uh, see what you got. So the first one in terms of relationship here is going to be uh, just as followed by the um, Hierophant card moving next we do have the two of cups and at the end that is going to be the page of swords those four now that's um uh, that's quite interesting one um for what it seems uh, things that you will have to face throughout the week especially if you are in an ongoing relationship are the things or rather like the red flags that you have been in a denial up until now and those red flags are to be addressed from your partner toward a you and uh, pretty much because we do have the two of cups here at the third position of this spread more or less the love will prevail at the end but uh, because the hierophant sits into the second position uh, you are to be uh, Pretty much things are to be slammed into your face of what you are doing in the wrong way, okay? Uh, pretty much you are to be confronted from your person of interest or, or from your partner throughout the week for things they don't like, which, which your deeds, you know, which you in general, if you are working too much and you are devoting too much time for your career, your partner is going to confront you for it uh, and it could take in many many different cases so uh, what um, uh, why this thing is happening or uh, in other words yeah what comes out of it at the end of the day well here we do have the justice at the start at that point that this week it will be a, it will be the process where you regain equilibrium not just only within your relationship but also how your relationship relates to everything around you uh, as a uh, uh, a peripheral thing in your life okay how your relationship relates to your career how your relationship relates to your family and so on and so forth and also um I'm afraid I have to say that, but uh, also you are going to be pointed that there are responsibilities for you that are uh, neglected by now for one or another reason within the relationship itself and you need to attend to those, uh, to those responsibilities. Now, while the love is going to prevail 
still by the end of the week, I don't think that you are going to be agreed with everything that have been addressed to you in one or another way. And still there are going to be a point, po um, a, 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 a points of conflict or a arguments that are to be led. But um, those arguments are not something that you should be afraid of. In fact, uh, they look uh, by the page of uh, sword stands, they look really pointless and it will be best if you try to ignore them for what you can, okay? Now, those that are single, have, it's, there is a possible for them to uh, get into an interaction with somebody. But again, as the Hierophant stands into the second position, uh, it doesn't look that that person will be a person you find interesting or rather like a person you find suitable for your demands and for your needs and while you know you you will know that you do have someone that shows interest in you uh, at the end of the week there will be a conflict within you you know should you go um away of your way um, or out of your way if you will uh and give the man or the woman a chance or should you stick with what you know to be true and uh, pretty much wait for the one who matches your expectations comes about? According to those cards, uh, as a guidance, they ask you to give the man or the woman a chance, but at the end of the day, it's all up to you. So uh, that was in terms of your relationship. Now let's have a look what we do have in terms of a career. So the first one in term of career is going to be the uh, chariot card. Moving next, we do have the ace of pentacles, uh, followed by uh, the ten of pentacles, and at the end, uh, that is going to be the six of cups. So uh, this week in term of career is going to be the week where you have to finalize your chores and really the things that you would rather not want to to work upon. So take it that way. That there are uh, there are projects say or enterprises that you want to be involved at, but you can't be involved in them until you do not finish what you have been involved into at that particular stage. So particularly, uh, so bottom line here. I'm sorry, guys. Bottom line here. It is that the week itself. It will be a week where you have to finish those things you hate and put them aside so you can clear your environment for a more productive and more uh, exuberating enterprises in front of you in term of a uh, in term of career so pretty much i can advise you gnash your feet it's the final push here and because we do have as well the chariot at the start of the reading uh, it looks like that your efforts are not going to be left unnoticed and unrewarded as well um the very least, um, the very least, your behavior of getting the job done until its very uh, until its very end is gonna prove it's gonna prove you uh, quite independent in term of uh, in term of influences, and uh, that may put you in a stand of a quite valuable asset for the company that you are in. Now, the Ace of Pentacles though into the second position. Um, this is not really a good card I want to see for such kind of a uh, for such kind of a, a situation because it pretty much points that what you are doing right now is rather uh, inefficient or rather like a pointless. Okay, it's, it will not have any influence for the company or for the for the business that you are working at whatsoever. But yet, for one or another reason, you are obliged to finish it. So, in other words, you are doing a pointless work, but that work needs to be done so you can get to the really meaningful stuff after that and uh, when you get there as we do have the six of cups uh you are going to enjoy what you are doing okay so 
uh, it's it's the final week of shenanigans this is how i can say it here with uh, with those cards that we do have for you sagittarius now those that are a uh, looking for uh work they're gonna find one although it's going to be a temporary okay so they're gonna find an opportunity to start the job but that is not gonna be a long lasting one it's, ju it's going to be just in an, a, a a stepping stone or a my my um mile oh my god mile stone uh, until they find something more suitable and more sustainable after that in a couple of weeks or in a couple of months or maybe a year but whatever you start just enter with the presumption that eventually you will have to uh, you will have to change it and under eventually i mean more or less within the uh within the near future like few months from now or maximum to a year from now but the next thing you are going to start working at it will be a thing that you would really really enjoy so that being said sagittarius these, these were your weekly tarot readings love and career hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them guys and uh, we may see each other next time until then Bye.